my name is Merv McGrubbish. We're farming here in Ballandurry, um, County Antrim. We run a Holstein Frisian autumn calving herd, um, focusing on fertility and uh, high, high inputs, high outputs. Going forward, we, we, we're probably um, looking for carrying on components again, improving fat and protein, hold milk levels where they are. We're going to try and breed a cow that's more fertile. Hopefully in the next five, ten years, we'll probably go from 7.82 to maybe short of 900 or maybe just over 900 if we can. We don't want to really lose yield. I'm not going to push for much more yield. I'm happy enough in around that 9,600 9, litres to 10,000 litres. We want, a, we want an animal that's going to be capable of eating a lot of forage. PLI wise, not overly fussed. The, the heifers behind here are last year's calves. Um, their average PLA is 522. The heifers that are going to calve this year, they're sitting with a PLA of 500. Bull selection going forward, we're going to probably uh, keep going for fat and protein. If we see traits that need adjusted, yes, we will breed for them. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll lower stature if it needs done, we'll lengthen teats. Um, but no, I, I'm happy enough to stay with the, the fat and protein trying to lift components. Um, we've been using sex semen, sex semen now for three years. Um, the first year I even put it in, we put it onto the heifers. We got fairly good results, 62% conception. Then two years ago, we, we went again and we used it in the cows. Um, again, the heifers responded really well, about 60% conception. I think we put about 60 straws in the cows and got maybe 22, 25 pregnancies. So we felt we'd go over three weeks after that with conventional semen. This year past the breeding season, we went all in. We uh, bought 120 straws and served everything that was fit for a Holstein uh, replacement heifer with sex semen for four weeks. Um, we weren't sure who was PD positive when we went on to beef straws then. One of the big things I will try and keep control of is having my replacements born in a very short period of time. We have a lovely even batch of heifers to work with um, and the, the, the end calf heifers are just sitting like peas in a pod. Going forward, we, we have used a lot of beef straws this winter. Um, we use a mixed beef straw and we seem to get better fertility with that, uh, better conception. So um, this last couple of years, we've been using the double Angus in Hereford. My main criteria for that is that I want a cow that's going to calve easily without difficulty back into the calf again in six, eight, ten weeks. Um, so it's ideal for me to have a cow that's going to calve easily and with no complications. Primarily we, we produce milk, so I mean for me to produce the, be efficient at producing milk, I need a cow to calve every year. I'd say 75 to 80% of a cow's calve in the same month year on year. So the, the beef calf is basically uh, a byproduct of my system. So I mean I'm still going to stick with the easy calf and keep the cows healthy. Um, get them back in calf again. I'm not going to go for a harder calving uh, bull just for the sake of 20, 30 quid on the calf value. The main criteria for picking the bulls again, we want an efficient animal that will produce a lot of high quality milk. The ability to eat a lot of forage, we want, we'd like ideally to have all the cows in calf before we put them to grass and then take a lot of milk off grass in the summertime. We're not just quite there yet, we're probably too far breeding, we've probably got one month of cows going out that are not in calf and we have the PD still, but ideally in an ideal world, I'd like to have the breeding season done in four months. Cows starting the calve last week of August and all the calf post before Christmas. And that'll give us hopefully everything back in calf for going to grass late March. 10, 15 years ago, we were using stock bulls. Um, we had cows going to grass, not in calf. So yes, we AI'd everything in the house. It was easy to do, but once we got to grass, we put a stock bull in for six, eight weeks and uh, took it from there. Problem was we were getting cows, we were earmarked to call out, coming back in again with high cell counts and difficulties. So, the plan was just to cut that out and to say now we, we, we serve for four weeks with hosting of all the calves born on the ground in a very short period of time. Ten years down the line I'd like to see cows producing 900 kilos of components. Um, I'd like to see fertility improved and it'd be great to serve all cows in four months and have them calved down in a four month period. We'll not change the cow a whole lot, I think she's an efficient cow. And people think Holsteins can't produce good quality milk, that's completely wrong. You breed the right Holstein, you'll get good quality milk. I'm reaching the goals, I think we'll rely heavily on the likes of Ivan from AI Services. He knows the cow we're looking at, we've told him the cow we want, what we want to get from that cow. High levels of milk with good quality components, so I rely heavily on him to pick the bull to suit the system. From 2008 to 2023, we've lifted components by 182, so 82 kilos. So I mean he's done the job right so far so it's up to him to keep doing the job right. Yeah with the use of sex semen in the herd, um, the first time round we'll, we'll give any cut I think is I like the type of her, I like her udder shape, I like her performance and we'll put a shot of sex semen in her. Um, PLA doesn't really come into the equation because we have cows standing there 12 year old and they're producing milk like nothing, uh, 10,000 litres plus with good components so I mean 
It's not just PLA, but it's those early cows. They'll get one shot, I say we put 80 straws into the cows this year past, and I think with 27, 28 held, which is a wee bit lower than we'd liked. But the high fertile cows held, so we are breeding fertility into the herd going forward. Again, the heifers, they all get a shot of sex semen. Uh, one straw, maybe this year coming we'll go with two straws because they a better conception rate than the heifers. So basically when we start breeding, we usually start about the 20th of November, um, any cow that's suitable for uh, Holstein straw will get a sack semen. Um, they get one shot, if there's a few straws they cycle again, they maybe get a second straw. After that we go straight to mixed beef straws, which is Angus and Hereford. Um, there'll be higher fertility with them, so we, we want to try and get the cows back in calf as quick as we can and make up for the slight lag from the sack semen the first time around. Breeding season for Holsteins this year, we, we bred for four weeks. We started breeding on the 20th of November by 25th of December. All the Holstein straws were gone, we moved on to beef straws. Um, we started calving about the 20th, 22nd, 23rd of August. All the replacement heifer calves are on the ground within four weeks, which gives them, there's no harsh weather. They thrive really well. Um, we, we hit our targets and then going to grass, as I said earlier, we have three batches of cattle. Um, we have our cows. We have a batch of in-calf heifers and we have one batch of calves. Uh, it makes life a lot simpler, so it does.